and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Last time we made it through Giant Step after stopping the sharks from terrorizing Oneit. And this time, we're gonna see what this is. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. That was too chill of a voice for this. But this is Titanic Ant and his cohort, which is just another ant enemy. Uh, you want to make sure to take out the hand toy ASAP, clearly, because uh, it has healing, healing arts of sorts. Um, now, my memory sucks, so I don't remember how much he has left, and that's bad. <laughs> this is really bad, because um, he just lowered my defense, so this is going to hurt if this doesn't kill him. And if he steals more than 2 PP, shoot. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, that's bad. Got enough for a life up. And unless he steals it, okay, cool. <laughs> well, he's using defense down, so this next attack is probably gonna kill me. Unless I can finish him off quickly. Okay, keep doing that. Yeah, my defense is lower, as low as I can possibly get, that's why it didn't work. Yes, he's actually giving me not a bad pattern, all things considered. <laughs> now, this doesn't seem like it's a good pattern, but it's actually not a bad pattern. Uh, the fact that he is using so many, like, non-lethal attacks, comparably. And I had to jinx it, apparently. Uh, here, I have hamburgers. This is bad. Uh, this is actually bad. Uh, like, extremely dangerous. My defense returned to normal, so that's good. And he's trying to steal points that I don't have, which is also good. And I actually won, somehow. 759 experience, so yeah. This is why speedruns, I think, can work. Because if you can survive a boss, you can pretty much level up pretty fast. Offense went up by 2, defense went up by 2. I'm actually gonna take my time because I haven't pointed out something. Uh, if it'll do it. Uh, it's not gonna do it. Great. Nest caught a glimpse of a small cute puppy. That's the soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. So this is our first your sanctuary location. We get f restored to full health, which is appreciated. And we have stopped the moss the the ant from uh corrupting a lot of the local uh enemies. So yes, uh, we don't have to worry anymore. I'm probably going to pick up the skip sandwich on the way back, now that everything is avoiding me. Um, <laughs> you can still get into battles if you're not careful. Uh, but I think you tend to get more uh, instant win type scenarios. Because the enemies don't put up much resistance, which also may make you feel bad for attacking them still. <laughs> but if you want quick experience, this is actually not a bad way to do it. Um, again, we get from these enemies like 30 each, and items even, so... Yeah. One of the unique things about this game, really. Uh, this was a double battle, so we couldn't get out of this one. Now I don't have to worry about, uh, being conservative, though, so I can just go all out on these guys. It's a really unique system, though, and I actually wonder how it worked from a programming standpoint, that I guess once you get past a certain point, the enemies are just kind of programmed to leave you alone. Which is clever. And again, enemies respawn, so you can just do this as much as you want, but then again, um, I don't want to get too overleveled. Earthbats is a weird game from the standpoint of it does a lot of really cool things, but it also is kind of backwards in some other ways, and one way that it is kind of backwards, I would say, is inventory. Because it is a problem uh, maintaining an inventory in this game. 
especially early on when you basically just have Ness by himself and like 10 item slots or whatever the number is, uh, it gets stressful really fast trying to juggle items. Uh, so luckily though, where I'm going with this is, by the way, uh, sometimes <laughs> random encounters are actually better because it doesn't borderline crash the game. So, honestly, I legitimately think that's why games have random encounters, even today to some extent. Uh, like, you know, some indie RPGs tend to still use random encounters, and I legitimately think it's because it's hard to load that much. It's just funny seeing this game lag and come to a crawl. Uh, this enemy is not low level enough, but hey, we got the, the surprise attack, so we shouldn't have any problem. You won! I wonder how they made the backgrounds, is a question I have. Uh, from a technical standpoint, not an artistic standpoint, because, you know, this is a Super Nintendo game, so I actually do wonder how some of the effects were created. Um... I'd actually be curious to know. I do know this game kind of pushed the limits of the SNES at the time, even though it wasn't even like a Mode 7 game. It just was very technologically... It's a very big game, effectively, so I think they had to bump up like the cartridge size. And on that note, I recall reading that uh, it was a very difficult development process. It took about five years from what I've read, which started which would have meant it started right after Earth Pad Beginnings. And it just kind of had problems because of like file constraints and such. So this game ended up being a joint project between two of Nintendo Studios, Ape, which was the studio that made the first game, and also How Labs. Hey you, the board says do not enter. Couldn't you read it? So you just didn't want to read the sign, huh kid? Get your butt to the one at PlayStation later. Nice guy. Um, fun fact, I didn't even notice the sign. Like, I'm not even kidding. I did not see the do not enter sign. It's really obvious, but I just ran right past it. Uh, butterfly. Always good to run to a butterfly whenever you, you can. Just to get uh, some points back. So off we go back to one it. Uh, I was actually also reading this game was panned for its graphics, <laughs> oddly enough, even though people love the graphics now. At the time, this game was seen as, like, really bad looking, which is kind of perplexing to me that the public opinion can change on the game so fast, but Earthbound's a good example of this. Oh wait, it was the next dungeon that all the guys said to have, uh, hamburgers for. Oops. Uh, that's awkward. But yes, also, uh, I guess I should point out, I have zero money, and the way this game works is any battle money you get is deposited into the ATM. So, uh, you don't get the money directly, you have to go to an ATM, which is where we're heading right now. Just to demonstrate, how much? Well, oh, we're actually at max health. Well, this is a bad time to show it, but I can show off some other things at least. You don't, uh, actually, just to prove a point, uh, you can just check it directly, or you can actually use the ATM card. It's a lot easier than Earth, Earthbound Beginnings. By the way, I fought a lot of battles getting here. So yes, you can withdraw money. I'm gonna withdraw about 900-ish. This hotel costs 35, but it goes up by person. We're one person, so it's 35. Just flat rate. Yeah, as awful as it sounds, we're gonna dig around the trash cans a little bit, try to double check some things before we actually go and spend money. I sworn I borrowed the map. Oh wait, my inventory was full. Oops. So I don't have a map. Yes, the map actually counts as an inventory slot in this game. So yeah, things like that I assume were turnoffs to people uh, back in the day. I'm trying to remember where the police station actually is. Oh, by the way, you can also just talk to Frank again. I've heard some say Frank is kind of analogous for Teddy in the first game. Sort of the gang leader that you fight who sort of is rooting for you afterwards. 
Also, I think using the same music, too. Oh, there's the PlayStation. But I... I want to stock up on items, but let's go to the PlayStation. What's the worst that can happen? I would rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. Here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? Furthermore, blah 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 blah. It's usually those tax evaders who blah 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 blah. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know, blah blah blah. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Blah 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 blah. Uh, well that was a good conversation. Let's go see the police chief. For the heck of it. For the lols. Where is the police chief actually? I don't remember. <laughs> Oops. Psst. I'm not really one of the gang. A cop, even if I don't look like it. Should you really be telling that to like a 10 year old? Man, in my steam, don't even try talking to me. Must have wrote to Tucson closed. An emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Okay, follow me. This guy was the police chief. <laughs> Passed right by him. That's a lot of cops. Show me what you got. See if you can get past five of my best men. Yeah, hey small fight, you must be shaking your boots. Not really. <laughs> this is actually an easy fight, I think. Uh, unless I just miss with everything. That can happen. I think these guys have like 70 HP, so I should probably stop messing around. Or I can win as soon as I say that. I definitely do want to heal. First turn next time. You're tough, you should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Yeah, okay. So does it not make us a superhero since he took out another cop? I mean... I did not mean rockin'. <laughs> Oops. Uh, that was my bad. I meant to pick life up. I mean it worked, but I meant to pick life up. <laughs> Don't let the mayor's compliments give you a big head. Bring it on, fat boy. Wow. Nice cops. Uh, now I'm actually gonna heal. For sure this time. These guys hit pretty hard, but as long as you, uh, don't get hit too many times consecutively, it shouldn't be a problem. I say as I get hit by a ton of attacks without missing. Level 12! Oh baby, that's what I'm looking for. That basically means you got a bigger stat boost than normal, if I'm not mistaken. Shield A boosts your... something. Let's use this again sometime. Next time I'll take you out with my nuclear suplex attack. These people seem to be forgetting that Ness is like a kid. I'm going to take you apart right here, right now, baby. Okay. <laughs> cool. Um... Do this again. Ow. But yeah, you can see the rolling HP uh, now that we're actually fighting a lot more. It's actually just a genuine, genuinely cool system. E6. Err, I lost. That's it, buddy. You can, f you can forget about me, I'm going to call my boss. Isn't he the boss, though? There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. Well, that's a word. Captain Strong. Guess why he's named that. Um, some puns in Earthbound are very obvious. E5. I don't know how much health he has total, though. He's on guard, so maybe it's a good thing I did that. Offense went up by one. Ow. That left the mark, but we took him out anyway that same turn. That's gained 492 experience. Didn't think you would do so well against a mighty one at police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep click. Strong here, do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Okay, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. 
so yeah, we just uh, uh, took down the police force. <laughs> yep, seems normal. No problem here. So we got two things. By the way, that was really stupid of me, actually, to withdraw the money, do the battles, and then go shopping, because uh, I kind of lost half that. The way it works is I did some double checking. If you die, you lose half your money. Uh, unless it's in an ATM, then you don't lose it. So yeah, I probably should have bought the stuff first. Uh, I'm also debating if I should just toss like the cookie, because it's not that good of a... Actually, how good of a can of fruit juice? 6 HP, so about the same as a cookie. So I'm gonna eat these two. Um, Cold Remedy, I don't know how soon it's gonna actually be a thing. Also, do we, we need the soundstone, never mind. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you need to have it at all times. By the way, I actually forgot to make an important phone call. One of the more unorthodox mechanics in Earthbound is you actually get homesick. So we should probably go call home. But I'm trying to find this stupid burger place. Uh, but I also don't want to get the map because it takes up an inventory slot. So like, decisions, decisions. I don't know what to do. Also, the one is really enunciated. I forgot about that. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of her, their home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Drugstore and burger shop. Here we go. Okay. Uh, we want to buy a lot of hamburger. <laughs> I way socked up on money that I didn't need. Uh huh. Definitely overplanned. I want to stock up because this is not an easy part of the game. I remember having a lot of problems with this next section. So I really, really want to be prepared. Uh, oops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to buy. But I want to see how much it steals anyway. 23, not bad. But not anything close to like 50 like hamburgers. So go with that. Um, I think my inventory is pretty full. Yeah, it's full. Okay, uh, so I wanted to show a couple more. Th I almost got hit by a bus. Cool. You can't actually die from getting hit by a bus. That sounds really contrary to real life, but yeah, you can actually can't die from that. Believe it or not. I feel like I say that a lot lately. Okay, so we want to stay at the hotel. Uh, yes, indeed. Yes? Yes. Yes, I'm a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling out? Calling you. I am Paula. Well, that's not something you expect to happen every day. I actually forgot that was a thing that happened. I didn't even know that, that, yeah, that that occurred. By the way, this phone is free, so you don't have to pay it. I think some have like a a fee, but not this one. Is that you, Ness? You called me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Escargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. And call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Hello, this is Escargo Express. Oh, is that you, Ness? Big bro. It's me, Tracy. I'm working part-time for Escargo Express. What can I do for you? So you can have things delivered. This is your item storage. Come again. Click. So yes, because of your weird item system in the game, you basically have to store items constantly. Uh, otherwise, you have to toss items, and that's that's really not good or preferable. So this is the road to Tucson here, right? Yes, it is. Hey, aren't you Ness? Well, I got the okay from Chief Strong like through. Take care of yourself. Doing yeah, well, keep it up. The town map can be checked out at the library. You can also use the map in Tucson, it's really useful. So yes, the map uh, applies to every location. What's this house? Oh, okay. I live right in the mouse's house. The mice are known as exit mice. They're very kind, and boy are they fast. I really love these guys. These guys are cool. 
for certain places. A couple of the your sanctuary uh, dungeons get really bad late game, so uh, it's actually kind of nice. Oops, probably shouldn't have bought so much stuff, but hey, no big loss. These guys will mushroomize you, which messes with your controls, but you can also then have the mushroom removed and then sell it for a lot of money. So it's actually a good money farming way, but I will probably not be utilizing that. Catch a packet. I think catch a packet's actually, um, boost the effects of healing items. Hashtag Team Ketchup. Even though Mayo won. <laughs> uh, I have been on the losing side of Splatfest for every time, except the one I got to actually not play. <laughs> Fun fact, uh, Splatoon side note. I feel really terrible for always picking the bad, the popular side, but also the wrong side that keeps losing. Hey, just taking this insane thing with photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Wow, oh, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest memories. Yeah, I got used to it. I think they're 30 total. Something ridiculous like that. This is a cycle shop. Puncture. Uh Oh, puncture. Okay, I got it. Bicycles are so much fun and are so convenient. It's a lot faster than walking. It'll be really popular with the biking crowd. You want a bicycle? Unfortunately, we don't have any more bikes for sale. We only have rentals. You want to rent one? My inventory is full. Uh, me neither. Okay, why are you working here then? I feel like this should be a prerequisite. I bought way too much stuff. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do a thing because I bought too much stuff. Clearly, um, it's good to have all these healing items, don't get me wrong, but I also just kind of need to get them out of the way because it's actually a little bit later than I thought it would be in terms of location of the game I'm at. Same dialogue as always. Delivery, pick up. I'll uh, store something for you, we'll send someone over immediately to pick it up. So, stand around for a little bit. Sand in the middle of the road, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Waiting. <laughs> Running through a sign. This is Escargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You can c cover the bill, right? What do you want me to take? I can take up the three things. So I want him to take... Skip sandwich, because I'll be using that later, I think. Cold remedy, sure. And I bought too many hamburgers, so give him one of those. Is this correct? Alright, certainly. Uh, thanks a lot. And voila, we are done. So, back to the department store. This is our first department store. Fun fact, actually, about this game, most of the levels kept their names intact. To my knowledge, a lot of the Japanese uh, locations still have number puns. If I'm remembering right. Is this the one? Uh, here we go. So, uh, if it flashes, that means it's gonna be a step up. If it doesn't do anything like this, then that's not for you. Um, I think that's how it works. And I think if it doesn't flash, it's actually a step down. Again, I may be wrong. 30, 27 to 31, sure, saw that. Good early game item, not really... Oh, <laughs> I actually feel bad now. It just occurred to me that that was his sister's. I think slingshots are strong, but lower your accuracy and the way this game's accuracy uh, rating goes. I want to kind of keep it the way it is. Um, for now, at least. Yeah, that's it. Ribbon and fry pan are for someone else that we'll be unlocking very soon, so we will not have to worry about that. Uh, I wonder what this one is for. Teddy bears are good items. Uh, the way teddy bears work is they act as a... I guess it's... Did I ever show the flying men in our beginnings? I actually don't remember. 
I feel like I should have, but I don't remember actually doing it. Anyway, uh, teddy bears act as a second party slot of sorts, and the way they work is they allow you to uh, do this thing where enemies will attack the teddy bear, so you don't actually have to worry about uh, taking damage, per se. It's really handy, especially because the next area we're coming up to. I need more money, actually. I think, if this is the town I think it is, I need a lot more money. I'm just gonna withdraw it all because we don't have any threats at the moment. Um, and we need a lot of money for uh, investing, actually. I went way over 25 minutes. I completely lost track of time, not gonna lie. Uh, and that's just how this game goes for me. I tend to just kind of tunnel vision, which makes it a little bit difficult to let's play. You got this name because we weren't first. Good motto. I, I actually love that. I remember that line, and personally, that's always been one of my favorite Earthbound lines, just because of how, like, on the nose it is, I guess. This game has a really weird sense of humor that ends up appealing to me, believe it or not. It's not for everyone, but I personally am really into the style of humor of Earthbound, because it's very dry. I tend to prefer dry humor over like super overt humor. I'm not s super into like extremely like obvious, I guess you could say, humor. I prefer a little bit more subtle, understated. Berglin Park. I feel like the frame rate's a little bit tanky here. <laughs> uh, hello, who are you? Wahaha, <laughs> why don't we chat later after we've locked the horn? Who the heck are you and why are you finding me? <laughs> I don't know. Um... This is an important character. This is Everdread. Uh... He's actually recurring throughout the entire game. Uh, well, actually not the entire game, but partway through he kind of drops out in importance. But for the most part, he is a major character. who kind of pops up once in a while. Thirteen. Yes, I'm Everdread, boss of Berglund Park. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost, and nothing will change that. You no, know, you're pretty strong. Uh, yeah, I know that you wanted to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful West Valley. A chubby boy with a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. It said they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were definitely hardcore strange. You no, know, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you say Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. Do not forget. If we rescue Paula, do not forget to come back here because it's super, super important. If I'm not mistaken, you actually need to come back here at some point. And there's one more little thing I want to take care of, but I don't know where it actually is. Hello. Right on cue. <laughs> Um, I need to go stay at the hotel and probably save. This is Apple Kid's house. We got two warring inventors here. One is Apple Kid and one is Orange Kid. We have to invest in one for something endgame, so that's why I stocked up on money. Well, I have sort of neglected doing my homework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway, I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. Uh, by the way, I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Oops, I forgot to buy something cheap. Thanks, you seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, excuse me, I mean thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Thank you, I won't let you down. I'm a mouse. No one has given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. That's got the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Yeah, this game's a little bit eccentric. But yes, this is something you need to do for an event very soon from now. So, that's enough progress for now, I think. This is the Pulsar Preschool, which I think we'll be starting at there next time. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you join me next time for more Earthbound.